you could have a match with someone that isn't a wrestler who to be with. It could be Ooh. a fictional character, an athlete, a celebrity. A celebrity. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I, honestly, that's, that's hard to say. Um, but who would I like to who would I like to fucking kick the kick their head yeah. in? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely would be Jake Paul. Oh, oh nice. I would love to just grab his arms and just fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> How would you but see that actual, match going? But an actual match, match. Um, I would probably say, um, um, what's his name? Um, um Paul Rudd. Because oh. I think we would have a fun match. <laughs> <laughs> How would you How see that match going with yeah. Paul Rudd? Oh man, it would be uh, a little comedic. But uh, yeah. definitely, uh, definitely fun. <laughs> I love it. I like that one and the Jake Paul one. That one was awesome. Especially the Mari so fights. Oh, oh yeah. I would kick his head in. <laughs> <laughs> do you think he wins tomorrow? Or do you think he loses? Oh, no. Uh, well, I mean, again, it's all rigged, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, I think, um, I don't know. I mean, I, I was looking forward to, to Fury to go in and there, but oh, yeah. again, uh, he pulled out. So we got um, what's his name? Um, Ty uh, Woodley. Guy, yeah, Tyron Woodley. Um, he's uh, a good MMA fighter. He held the belt for a long time, but you know, now he's just yeah going down. <laughs> so what tends to happen? But um, yeah, I, I, I see. Uh, I see. A unanimous decision for Jake because you know yeah. <laughs> that's in the script. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. Of your career, so like you know, take us back to the beginning. Like, what first? Like, what got you into wrestling? Like, who introduced it to you? Like, how did you first discover wrestling? Um, I, I'm old school, so uh, so it was uh, a trip to the video store. Would, mm. that would got him and um this was probably 93 or 92 um my first actual uh vhs tape <laughs> that i watched was uh SummerSlam, uh 19 uh, 1989 hogan and uh Zoot, hogan brutus the barber beefcake versus the macho king and zeus which was a, a great display of a match. <laughs> uh, but the match that got me hooked was, uh, was actually missed, uh, was uh, Ravishing Rick Rude versus the Warrior. Uh, Rude went in there and sold his ass off for the Warrior and uh, made him look larger than life. So, you know, that's what got me. <laughs> And then growing up too, as a as a fan, like who was your favorite wrestler? Like who's who's one you cheered for? Um, I mean, I was obviously a Hulkamaniac. Um, mm. you know, um, I still have uh, a, I think it was a eighty nine uh, head uh, bandana that mm. I still have somewhere. Um, <laughs> but um, that one that one's a real try, uh, real precious uh, heirloom to me. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Hogan was Hogan was good. Um, again, perfect. Uh, I love love Bobby the Brain Heenan. He was Bobby the Brain Heenan was a good good heel yeah. manager. So yeah, uh, and I tend to like the heels sometimes. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and especially like you can see with uh, with Rich and I's background, you see we have like a bunch of figures in the back. Did you ever yeah. collect the figures or even play the video games? Um, I had. Um, I loved uh, the Royal Rumble draw for the NES and uh, and uh, Super Nintendo or uh, and uh, Sega, um, but my my bread and butter was uh, was uh, No Mercy. Yeah, <laughs> you can't go wrong with the yeah. with the, the sixty four um, and WCW. Uh, what was it? Um, Walter was actually a pretty good one too. Yeah, so you know. It was kind of a little mix of things. Was there like a precise moment like growing up when you're like, you know what, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to your school and, you know, be, become a wrestler. 
Um, it, it started young, and I'm not and I'm not gonna lie. I'm still I'm gonna sit here and uh, I, I did backyard wrestling for a while, long time. Um, I think I, I started when I was uh, maybe uh, twelve. <laughs> oh wow! So I was I was doing some of that stuff, um, but what really got me saying, you know what, I gotta I gotta go do this was uh, 2005. Uh, a little bit before that, maybe like 2004, 2003. Um, but um, yeah, it, 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 it went from there. I was doing some backyard stuff. And um, yeah, it was, it was a journey. <laughs> and then also, and like, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. You're good. Right. Um, so when did you decide, like, first, like, what, uh, what uh, wrestling school did you start training at? Oh, I started. Okay, so it was a mix of. Um, I did. I did start going to training over with um, with Bart over at AWS. Mm. Um, and then um, trained there for a little bit, and then when um, God rest his soul, uh, Johnny um, Johnny Ian, um, which my boy, love him to death. Um, he was. Uh, we had a wrestling company, uh, Mach One Wrestling, and uh, trained there for a little bit as well with uh, Johnny Goodtime and uh, and uh, Joey Ryan. Um, but yeah, um, trained by also by TJ Perkins, uh, Paul London a little bit. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> And what was like the first day of uh, going into wrestling school? What was that whole experience like for you going in there for the first time? Um, again, when I did the backyard stuff, didn't really understand the um, the the technical style behind it. Just knew, oh, I can do this move, I can do that move. Um, but going into that first day was uh, was kind of was kind of a little overwhelming, but. Um, it was fun. Uh, you know, um, Bart had, um, had a couple trainers out there, some of the Lucha stuff as well. Uh, but it was cool. It was, it was really fun. Mm-hmm. And what was like the typical day in the school? Like, what was like, what did you guys do for training and exercises? Like, um, was- so it, again, all trainers are kind of different. Yeah. You know, it, it, it depends on, on, who you're who you're gonna go train with. Um like let's say Santinos. Let's let's give it that way. Um they'll they'll um they'll work on your cardio in the beginning, kind of give you little drills and stuff like that. And then once it's once you're kind of in that warmed up zone, um they'll go through some of the um some of the spots and some of the things that you need to learn. Um and um Sometimes they'll have uh, practice matches, you know, mm-hmm. see, see where you're at at that point. Um, Joey didn't like to do that. Joey Ryan. Um, he, uh, he liked to kind of give you more of a knowledge um, perspective. Um, Bart, he more, they wanted to do more, a little bit more lucha stuff. Um, so it was kind of going back and forth between the American style and lucha libre. And, um, it just all depends, you know, who you work with. Mm-hmm. And for yourself, like, what style of wrestling are you, like, a fan of? Are you a fan of, like, the Lucha style, the Japanese style? Like, which, which style is more you prefer? I mean, I I grew up um, into that um, power man wrestling, that ground mm-hmm. wrestling, that technician wrestling. Um, again, Blue Blazer was another, was another great technical wrestler, yeah. Owen Hart. God rest his soul. And um, he was, it was, it was uh, more of a technical wrestling for me. Um, I can do some high flying back in the day. Yeah. I was, I was able to do some springboards and, uh, you know, do some flips and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, age gets to you and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, things, uh, things kind of, you have to adapt to where you're at. So, I think I'm different now. I'm a more of a more now of a technical style wrestler than anything else. 
So mm -hmm. that's just the way it is. <laughs> and was there any advice that maybe him or even like Bart or someone that's given to you that you kind of still kind of that you keep with today? That's a lot of a lot of things that um, that a lot of wrestlers always always instill in you. Um, you know, being be good to everybody because you don't know who's gonna be what. Because let's put it this way: we used to book the Young Bucks back in the day. They were they were barely starting now. They were uh, our first new era for IWL. They were on the opening for for the show. So they didn't really have a match on the card. They they were just they were our openers. Mm -hmm. um, and I always loved booking them. I always told uh, told Vic because he was the head booker. Uh, he was the owner. He was the man. Uh, I told him, look, you got to book these guys. These are these. There's something about them. Um, uh, you know, um, a bunch of other guys from the high desert. They they all came down and stuff like that. High risk as well. Yeah. Help them out, you know, help help get them book over there with the IWL. But um, you know, look at the Bucks. Look at them now. You know, yeah. they're running the, the 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 first biggest company besides WWE yeah. in uh in in our history right now. So it's it's you never know who's gonna be where, so you gotta be nice to everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you hate them, you know, but yeah. you gotta be good. <laughs> Yeah, because I remember like when Rich and I were kids, we would watch yeah. the Young Bucks wrestle EWF in Covina. Yeah, and uh, like I said, like they were like the opening match. Sometimes it was the first match, yeah. and you know now we kind of think about it, like man, like going from from that time to now, yeah, pretty yeah. much you know, running the business and it's crazy. Like now there's action figures of them, and now you see them, you know, yeah, every ad. Yeah. it's crazy. You just <laughs> never know. You never know who's who's gonna be who. What's gonna happen? You know, I, I I'm proud that I got to wrestle Scorpio Sky. He's yeah. up there. I got to wrestle Peter Avalon. He's up there. Um, I think I had some, maybe a battle royal or two or something with uh, with Brian Cage uh, <laughs> back in the day. Um, but those people I know, and uh, yeah, man, it's crazy seeing them like this, mm -hmm. you know. But I'm I'm proud of it. Yeah that wants to kind of pursue in, into his business, what yeah. advice can you bring to someone that wants to be a professional wrestler? It's hard. It's, it's time consuming. It's um, missing birthdays, missing anniversaries, missing um, special events sometimes. Um, but if you're willing and if you really want this, then go out, get trained, um, you know, Santino's in L.A., you know, those are a great start right there. You know, um, School of Hard Knocks, yeah. EWF, uh, Jesse is always a great person to talk to. Uh, Dave Marquez as well, uh, great, great person to talk to. Oh, and also a great match that I also love is uh, is my uh, my match with Willie Mack on yeah. Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Yeah. That yeah. was a great match. Um, but yeah, go out, get trained. Um, you know, if you do the backyard thing, cool, but you know, wait a couple of years to <laughs> announce that because <laughs> then you have established yourself that you're not just some backyarder, you know, um, it's hard when you're like, okay, I want to do this, but you don't got the credentials <laughs> basically. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Well, again, Eric. It's been so much fun. Thank you so much again for, for being oh, yeah, on the spot. Um, but before, you know, you got to the listeners about the Cross Yacht Podcast, especially <laughs> what is Cross Yacht Podcast about? Tell the listeners. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, basically the Cross Yacht Podcast is, is uh, just me talking my life. Um, whether it's um, me smoking a cigar, which uh, I am smoking right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm smoking uh, a uh, Jeremy C uh, uh, series. Um, can't can't really remember his name or his last name, but he is a YouTube star on uh, YouTube. Obviously, uh, he has uh, cigars and whiskey and stuff like that. He got me into Provada, which is our another place that this cigar is coming from. Uh, Provada Cigar Club is uh, 
is a subscription and buy cigars. Um, but I talk about that. I'll talk about wrestling. Um, and I'll just talk about life, you know, in general, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's available every where you get your podcast, right? Yes, it is on um, Spotify, uh, Amazon uh, Pod, uh, Google or Google Pod as well, um, Apple, and uh, I think I'm gonna try to get all the all the other uh, podcast um, stuff. So it's just gonna take time. <laughs> <laughs> 